these are the most watched videos on my channel in 2019 regarding cowboy boots. Let's get into it. My most viewed videos this year are polarized. Like people either love it or they hate it and they let me know in the comments. Okay, we're gonna start out with the most viewed video of 2019 and that was the truth about square toe cowboy boots. People either hated this or they loved it or they were like, meh. Like it, it was, it, people, people really felt strongly about this video. And I think that I didn't get across the point that I was talking about modern square toe cowboy boots. A lot of people said that, you know what? Actually, the first cowboys wore square toe cowboy boots or square toe boots. And that's true, you know, but they were Civil War repurposed boots and they were built like shit. I mean, they were uh, square toe because there was no left or right boot. They just made boots like and they would just fall apart. My my brother Levi was talking to somebody at a historical museum who um, specialized in the historic boots that people used for war and he said that these boots were just like pegged they weren't stitched at all and they would fall apart so easily and that's why I think those square toe cowboy boot or those square toe civil war boots when they were repurposed for actual cowboy work that they got that the people who were wearing them got frustrated and sought to improve on that it sort of reminds me of like uh basketball or anything that comes new right so in the in basketball's case uh 26 years the sport of basketball was around before the the basketball sneaker was actually invented right so basketball was invented by this canadian in uh 1891 and then chuck taylor the converse they were released in 1917 so um, you could also argue that the first basketball sneaker was like this dress shoe that some, you know, Canadian wore while he was making the sport of basketball, which was first played with a soccer ball. So, I mean, there's this evolution that we're talking about here. So, uh, that's that was something interesting. Um, that's why I don't consider the Civil War square toe boot the first cowboy boot. Uh, but that's just me. I think that it was created... Uh, by taking cues from the Vaqueros and the Hessians and the Europeans when they wore uh, the boots that were more suited to the West. Uh, and I was talking about the modern square toe anyways with the double-stitched welt. That is definitely not traditional, the double-stitched welt. Um, and I'm sorry if that, got, if that upsets you guys. But I really liked this video, and I absolutely am so happy that it got like 50,000 views. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, it was a very fun video to make. And yes, it is a little clickbaity. <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely say that right now. The tr anything that says the truth or this or that is probably not actually the truth. It's just meant for you to click on it. So thanks for clicking on it and not hating me. Most of you who are on the stream right now. <laughs> So the next video that got the most views that was also polarizing people and people hated me for was the Tacovas review that I did earlier this year, like really early this year, when I talked about the Earl. People hated this because I was, I, I basically said at the beginning of the video, listen, I'm not going to keep these boots. I just wanted to see what they're like and then I'm going to send them back. And people were like, oh my gosh. What a horrible American person. Why would you order something with the intent of returning it? And, and and I'm like, well, because it's America. Because I am American. I gotta do whatever I can to get ahead. And if Tacovas is saying free returns, they actually want you to do this. So, like, Tacovas wants you to order their boots and to try them on, knowing that you can send them back. So, I was just explaining how easy it is because if you were even interested the slightest bit in trying Tacovas, they make it really easy for you and you could just send them back after you tried it so that you could speak intelligently about their brand which is the whole point right 
We want to be able to learn what these brands are like. So if you want to order some Tacovas just to see what they're like with the intention of sending them back, I think that's totally cool and there would be totally all about that because you are able to speak more intelligently about what their boots are like. And what brand wouldn't want that? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I this actually helped a lot of people out too. Um, but yeah, very early on in my reviews, and I think I'm getting my reviews and my my sort of first impressions down now after after a year of doing this, and I get less hate on on things like this. <laughs> so this one got forty thousand views this year. Awesome video, and huge thanks to Tacovas. Uh, they didn't mind that I said that because they actually let me keep this boot, which led to more content. Why do people hate my videos? People hate things for a whole bunch of different things, Governor Brown. It's uh, it's just the way it is, and especially on YouTube. You know, you know how it is. It's it's just funny to talk about it, though. Speaking of hate, whoa! Here's another one that got a lot of hate, but also, it was mainly, mainly, super, super positive. This one is the third most viewed uh, video this year. Not Tacovas. Whoops. Is the uh, Are you bullied? For wearing cowboy boots. Now, somebody asked me what they should do about being bullied for cowboy boots on like my first live stream. I think it was the live stream where I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I jumped on and I was just sort of thanking everybody. And somebody asked what they should do about being bullied for wearing cowboy boots. And I didn't ever really think about it. Um, but I felt like it was an important thing to cover because especially being from some of the northern states, uh, at least the northeast, you, uh, you definitely stand out. Um, people don't wear cowboy boots around here, so it could make you feel out of place a little bit. So I just wanted to talk about my experience overall, and people, um, people were pretty receptive to that and it was actually the hardest video I made this year this was a super difficult video to make for me because I knew that people would take what I said to heart so I needed to make sure that it was uh, authentic and I guess I guess it would help it would actually help because I don't want to make a video that is actually not going to help somebody I actually made this video three times before I published it um, and looking back on it now, it's kind of, uh, it's, I, I actually was like, should I even publish this version? Um, and it was a very difficult video to make, but it seemed to, it seemed to really help a lot of people out. And I'm really grateful for that. I did not expect to find myself in a position like this, like an inspirational position. In fact, I don't really want to be an inspirational person. Um, I'm glad that some people are inspired by me. Uh, but that's not my goal, right? I just want I just want to share my experience, and if my experience helps, that's that's all that really matters. So this one was the most difficult video that I released, and also it, I was super nervous about releasing it too because I just knew that people would take what I said to heart. So I think I think I did okay on it, and apparently a lot of other people do too because it has thirty plus thousand views this year. So huge thanks to uh, to everybody who, who supported that video. I think it's something that we just need to talk more about. Okay, the fourth video that got a lot of views uh, was How to Break in Cowboy Boots that I did with Levi. This has 26 plus thousand views. Um, yes, I know that the correct fit is a prerequisite to breaking in cowboy boots. A lot of you said... Uh, that that was an important first step. Uh, I just figured that you would have the right because if you if you get a boot and you're like, how do I break in this boot? And you search and and it's the wrong size. Uh, I like I don't know what to do for you. I could say that it's you got to make sure you have the right size, but how like that's not up to me. That's up to you. So once you have the right size. This is how you break in cowboy boots. And I think a lot of people were kind of upset with just how easy it is. Like, all you have to do is condition them and wear them. That's it. And maybe wear them out in the rain. Scuff up the bottom a little bit so you don't fall on your ass. I had a comment the other day that somebody wore their new cowboy boots and found that they were really, really slippy. Yeah, you got to get out there. You got to kick the 
kick the dirt, kick the cement, scuff up those bombs so you have some friction. So this one did get a lot of people. Um, this one, this one did very, very well this year, and I'm happy because me the the videos that I always do with Levi are always a lot of fun, and this one was a lot of fun. I just sprung it on him too. I was like, Levi, we're gonna do a video. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, but let's do it. So I just set up all my stuff, and I was like, okay, Levi, here's the video. I kind of, I think he was kind of disappointed because it was like, oh well, you just wear them, <laughs> which is I, I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> All right, so the other, the last video that I want to talk about that got the most views, this is the fifth most views for 2019, was the Tacovas versus Cuero. Uh, this got 24 plus thousand views, and I did it with Aaron Watson because Aaron ordered both the Tacova and the Cuero. And, uh, you know, I think people were surprised that uh, there wasn't very much difference between them. Um, I wasn't really, I guess I was a little surprised just because of their marketing and their business model. Uh, I expected them to be much less quality than uh, what they were, um, but I'm not surprised. Uh, that said, after we did this video, and this video was really long, like this is, I'm, I'm getting better at making long videos now. Uh, this video was around 28 minutes, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm better at, <laughs> at making those. This one was, it, it felt a little bit long, so I think um, some people got lost with that. Uh, but then we did another really long one talking about the business models, and I got to say that Quero is um, just really cheap. They, they make some really cheap shots when it comes to business, and uh, that's why I can't support them. I don't want to do another video about them on the channel. So uh, until they actually show me that they're actually passionate about their brand and not just undercutting Tacovas and Yeti, Arctic invests in Quero um, and Yeti invests in Tacovas. So I see Arctic as just sort of attacking Yeti by making this random boot brand that they don't actually really care about. And just to undercut Tacovas because Yeti is an investor of Tacovas, so it's kind of like this really dramatic thing that is is just too much to keep track of, and I just don't see Quero as having very much passion in the cowboy boot industry. Definitely not as much as uh, Tacovas and their CEO Paul Hedrick. Um, and and let me get it straight: like I'm not like a super huge fan of Tacovas, the boots. I think there are better boots out there that you can get for the same price. I think they definitely um, they definitely talk a big game about what their retail price of their boots would be because they're basically uh, they're basically competing against Lucchese. And yeah, Lucchese boots are going to be more expensive, but you could still get a good boot for two fifty or whatever. Um, so it's like it's not that. It's not that big of a deal. They could definitely make their boots cheaper like Quero is doing. I think that, that I think Quero is proving to Tacovas that you can make cheaper boots, but like I don't even think Quero even wants to make profit, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even think they care. They just want to take market share away from Tacovas and they do it in really cheap ways. So I'm just not a fan of that. But yeah, this video got twenty four thousand views. Um, definitely, definitely was a very interesting experience for me to do a versus episode and and then to realize what kind of drama was behind it and I'm not a big fan of going into the drama behind cowboy boot companies it's a little bit much for me it feels like I have to take sides and I did take a side with this and I'm not really a big fan of that so it, I'm going to I'm probably not going to do a, a a versus video that creates drama like this video was nice, but then I did more, and it created a little bit more drama, and I I'm just wasn't a big fan of that. Um, so this was interesting. This was a fun project, but I learned a lot from it at the same time. So that's what I learned from the most viewed videos this year. Super interesting to look at now, um, and I'm wondering what it's going to be like in 2020. It's so incredible to see 50,000 views All your opinions The choices you choose It's so incredible to see the engagement that ensues When I post a video about 
cowboy boots <laughs> who knew <laughs> thank you for watching Tim you guys are the best seriously <laughs> see you next time peace